What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Let's get down to the situation. Let's talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. It is going down because Claudia Jordan is feeling a certain type of way, and she recently did an interview, and baby, she was going in on Miss NeNe Leaks. I guess she was feeling a certain type of way, and she wanted to talk about NeNe Leaks in her interview, but... Claudia Jordan said that Nene Leakes is irrelevant. So why is she talking about her? Because Nene is relevant. It is what it is. Because someone that's not ir irrelevant, you won't talk about them. You wouldn't even be asked questions about them. But the people that are interviewing, you want to know about your time on Real Housewives of Atlanta and Nene Leakes and nothing else that you are doing. But in any event, let's get down to the situation. So Claudia basically is still mad at Nene Leakes. She's mad at Nene Leakes for saying that she has no brain. She's mad at Nene Leakes because Nene Leakes said that she was promiscuous on TV. But Claudia Jordan basically has something to say and she went in on Nene Leakes. Jordan alleged that Nene Leakes has a big head and she has a big ego. And basically she views her co-stars as being little, irrelevant, or nothing at else or beneath her. So in any event, Claudia Jordan done came out here swinging on Nene Leakes for no reason at all. Like, damn, it's going down like that. In any event, you know, when it comes down to the situation, Nene Leakes has said in the past that Jordan was looking for to be odds at with Nene Leakes because she needed a storyline. She needed, you know, she needed a plot. She needed a plot. She needed something so she can come back next season. So allegedly, Nene is saying that Claudia Jordan was coming after her and want to beef with her because, you know, she needed a storyline. It is what it is. And also, um, Claudia Jordan continues in her interview basically talking about Nene Leakes is irrelevant without the housewife nene lee grew a big head she mistreated so many people along her journey of success so basically claudia jordan is allegedly kicking nene while she's down and talking about nene like it ain't nobody's business i was like damn she's really feeling that way it seems like the whole interview was about nene leaks but in any event claudia jordan continues she says to nene, she says about nene you did not create the show but you were really a big part of that show because Coming successful. Jordan also says to go from nothing to something, then to something great, and to have burnt so many bridges where no one rushes to your rescue is sad. Sure is. But I don't know if she burnt all them bridges like that, or both sides were burning bridges as well, because Nene feels like she was attacked. She was under attack, and people wanted her gone, and there was a lot of things going on on The Real Housewives of Atlanta behind the scenes that people were not privy to, and she was really getting mistreated. And shit it on over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she, you know, put up with it allegedly. But in any event, Claudia Jordan continues. She says, I hate when I see people sabotage their own career with their attitudes of their behaviors. On your way up, if you want to act a certain way, people are going to remember on your way down. She shot herself in her own foot by doing that. So, baby, it seems like she is feeling a certain type of way that Nene Leakes has shot herself in the foot, baby, and she is irrelevant without the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I was like, damn. But it seems like the Real Housewives of Atlanta might be irrelevant without Nene. Allegedly, if you talk about the viewership, because Real Housewives of Atlanta has not reached 2 million viewers this season. And when you talk about season 12, they reached 2 million views. And the viewership was very up and very high. And now for season 13, it's down below. Like, what's going on? Only thing that is out of that equation is Nene Leaks. So you guys tell me what you think about the situation. Do you think the viewership has dropped over there at Bravo because Nene Leaks left? Or they dropped because there really was no storyline and people were sick of Bolo? Or they're busy working because it's a pandemic? But in any event, you guys tell me what you think about this situation. It's even being alleged that Phaedra Parks might be asked to come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta to stir things up, to bring things back to normal, to get them viewers up because people are alleging that, you know, Phaedra Parks is a fan favorite and she's also going to be promoting mirroring on you know bravo's 
Andy Cohen new show where it's going to be the story of reality TV for real. So it's going so Andy Cohen got a new show for real. The story of reality TV where he's going to be spilling the tea allegedly and Phaedra Parks is supposed to be on that show. From that, you know, accusation of what people are saying and what we saw online, you know, all of a sudden, the story is that Phaedra Parks is returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta to get them viewers shit, get the viewers back up, baby. So in any event, it seems like Real Housewives of Atlanta need need, need leaks, and need need leaks needed them too as well because she didn't want to quit, she didn't want to go away, but she was in negotiations and it wasn't looking good, and she wasn't going to take penny cents and coins and dimes, and then not have as many episodes as she's used to you know, filming. So you guys let me know what you think about that situation. I was like, Lord have mercy. When it comes to the court of your Jordan, she is feeling a certain type of way. And a lot of people feel that Nene Leakes is down on her luck because, you know, she's actually, you know, doing other things, but she's not like on TV. So, but she has filmed little cameos too as well. And also she has her club and then on top of that, you know, she has a boutique and it seems like she's going to be working with the owners of Zeus Networks and she might even become an executor over there or she might become a producer or director or actually, you know, anything over there. She can, you know, bring shows to the show that she has ideas that she wants to create. And we all know not too long ago, Nene Leakes was on Instagram and basically in her club, she wanted to create a new show where she had men from Atlanta that are part of the gay community basically speak on issues and topics of what's going on and and spill the beans and the tea and give their opinion and claudia jordan shot down that idea and was making fun of nene leak saying that she's broke look at the set look at the club nene was just getting the club going but in any event claudia jordan ended up doing the same idea that nene leaks had you know, so basically it seemed like Claudia Jordan was co copying off of NeNe Leaks, but at the same time down in NeNe Leaks for actually wanting to premiere her own show in her club. You know, it's called being independent. It's okay to be independent out here in these streets. It's not a problem. But in any event, that's how Claudia Jordan feels. And people are feeling a certain type of way because NeNe Leaks is over there at the Zeus Network, allegedly. But I think that the Zeus Network is going to catapult nini and nini's going to catapult the zeus network especially with shows because the zeus network is working with WeTV, working with vh1 they're working with everybody they're looking to um zeus network to get material from zeus network because they have no material because of the pandemic and you know filming being halted but in any event that is the situation so you guys let me know what you think about that situation so it's crazy so you see nini leaks right there she's with the owner and the executive producer over there at the zeus network pluma plumber so it is what it is so you guys tell me what you think about this situation mm, mm, mm. then it continues to go on because claudia jordan is feeling a certain type of way about nini leaks and she says nini has been very difficult to work with and in the past and as you've seen on season 12 virtual reunion where nini leaks left early where claudia jordan jumped in and said jordan shares similar sentiments about her working with nini leaks but jordan says nini leaks got away with such much she got away with so much of her behavior and ultimately feels that it contributed to her demise so basically claudia jordan is saying that nini leaks was walking off of scenes and she was you know basically being rude and disrespectful and she was acting like she was better than everybody and she feels that behavior got nini leaks not to get her contract renewed or to get a shitty contract. So you guys let me know what you think about that situation. And Claudia Jordan goes on. She says, when we did the show, she would walk out of scenes all the time. Jordan alleged, like, you know, she would just just be gone like just get up and walk away and jordan said that she didn't even understand how she was still getting a check how she was getting paid jordan is saying basically that nene leaks was terrible she would just get up and walk away and act like you know she could do whatever she want to do i was like omg and claudia jordan said that she would never do that because she knew that she would she was expected to do a job and she was still getting a check so therefore she was there on scene on set and she was there on time and she she went through it all but she said 
Nene Leaks made the process very difficult and she was getting away with murder and getting paid for it at the same damn time. Mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy, what is going on with this situation? So I guess Claudia Jordan had time today and she has some things to say about Nene Leaks. You know, she ended up talking about Tamar Braxton too as well and actually, you know, squashing her beef with Tamar Braxton. But if you look at the overall of the interview that, you know, Claudia Jordan did, it was about Nene Leaks and it was about Tamar Braxton and not about Claudia Jordan because Claudia Jordan has attached herself to real celebrities. And I believe Claudia Jordan is a celebrity and I used to like Claudia Jordan a whole lot. But there's been so many rumors and allegations about Claudia Jordan and that is just crazy, you know, uh, basically her stand up and her talking, you know, negative about the black culture, black people, black women, black men, period, which is kind of like, oh, I don't know, Claudia, what's going on? So in any event, you guys let me know what you think about this situation, but it is what it is. I was like, damn, Claudia Jordan, I came out here disrespecting Nene, talking about Nene for no reason. And every time you turn around, you see Claudia Jordan coming after Nene Leaks when Nene Leaks is not checking or looking for Claudia Jordan at all. But when you, it's the day and the age of, you know, clout chasing, clicks and views, and Claudia Jordan have a job to do. She has to have them numbers over there at Fox. So basically, you know, you got to come for the queen. You got to come for, you know, Miss Nene Leaks. But in any event, she feels like she has a right to feel the way that she feels towards Nene because Nene mistreated her. Nene sabotaged her. Nene did a lot of things to her. So basically, she's out here spilling the beans and you know she is best friends or she's BFFs with, you know, Kenya Moore. So anytime Claudia Jordan can throw a dagger at Nene, she will. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. I was like, Lord have mercy. And what do you guys think about Phaedra Parks? Do you guys think Phaedra Parks is actually going to return? Is this just rumors? Because every year it's always rumors that Phaedra Park is going to return. Phaedra's coming back. Phaedra, Phaedra, Phaedra. But this time we kind of believe it a little bit, just a tad bit, because we know the viewership at Real Housewives of Atlanta is down. So therefore they need a way to create more drama and get the viewership back you know so would they bring in Phaedra Parks to do that because you guys already know Candy Burris is not here for that situation. Candy Burris do not want Phaedra Parks back on the show because of the accusations that she made about Candy Burris. And Candy Burris said it herself if Phaedra comes back to the show that she's going to leave. So is Candy Burris going to leave or she's going to sit there and deal with Phaedra Parks? You guys tell me what you think about that situation. Only way I could see, you know, Candy leaving the show if Bravo promised her her own spinoff for at least two seasons. And um, it kind of looks kind of weird, but I don't think Candy's worried because it might just be rumors and allegation that's not true at all. But if Phaedra Parks does come back, we still want Candy on the show. We want them to work out the situation. We want them to talk about the situation. We want to see Phaedra address, you know, um, Candy. We want to see Candy address Phaedra. We want to see them, you know, hash that situation out, how they felt and, you know, how internally they felt with the situation and what went down. So that would be interesting. And also, if Phaedra Parks come back, we need her to be attached to Apollo. We need Apollo and Medina to come into the situation too as well to add some spice because Apollo has a situation when it comes to Todd Tucker. Apollo is not feeling Todd Tucker at all. He feels like Todd Tucker and 100. So that would get people... Everybody will come back to watch if Phaedra and Apollo came back together because they know it's going to be an issue, you know, with Candy Burris and Todd Tucker. And there's a lot of things that need to be worked out in that situation. Also, to see Kenya Moore and Phaedra Parks, you know, they're cool now as far as Instagram cool, just to see how you know, their chemistry would be. To see Apollo chemistry with Kenya Moore. Apollo has said that Kenya Moore is cool. He likes her. He respects her as well. So it'll be an interesting situation. Yes, we will all be tuning in. If Phaedra comes and Apollo comes and then you throw Medina into the situation, it would be off the chain. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. It is what it is. I was just like, Lord have mercy. Claudia Jordan really went in on Nene Leaks. Basically, she didn't talk about her looks. She just talked about her behavior and basically said Nene Leaks is out of shit out of luck.
and it's all her problem. It's all her fault. So you guys tell me what you think about that situation. I was like, Lord, Claudia Jordan ain't going to stop. <laughs> She's going to keep going with the situation. She will be talking about NeNe Leaks again and again and again and again and again. It is what it is.